This is, um, welcome. Welcome to the studio. <laughs> Look what I've got. I want to thank you all. Thanks, Sean. Thank you for coming. My name is Kate. All of your wonderful donations and bookings got us in with the big leagues. I just got StreamYard because I did want it before and I was such a rookie. I just didn't understand it. But after watching Sean, it was so inspiring. So now we have the computer recording. Obviously, we're going to go through the questions together. I also have my iPad in case there's any issues. And the balcony's on. This is the big leagues. So what we're going to do today is I am going, oh, I can read. Yes. All right. I'm like sweating from that. Okay. So what we're going to do, good afternoon. Thank you for coming. My name is Kate. I am a psychic and a medium, and I use the cards to help keep me organized. I'm trying to really work on staying on track. I saw comments that I was all over the place. I know some of those ADHD people and or ADD will get it. So I've been really practicing or trying. I also, uh, if you'd like to book a reading, see, I've even got a little. <laughs> um, I'm impressed. I have to say, thank you guys. Thank you all for your um, love and support. So what we're gonna do today. If you'd like to book a reading, the link is in the description or the bio. And if I owe you anything, let me know. Thank you to everyone who's reached out. Our lovely, wonderful, beautiful friend on Chase. That was awesome. Good call. I took care of that yesterday. And what we're going to do today <laughs> is we are going to go through these questions so that we can knock them off of our list and see how this works. If this works, we're going live and this will be so much easier to when if we do lessons if anyone still wants to learn certainly could do something like that and so you guys can see it on the screen i can see it right here and we have um mom peggy dad john oh this is for probably john's parents thank you if you guys want i'll read out the names too especially the rude ones. You're getting your name out there just because we adult here. That's what we do. We pretend we're in English lit, not on Facebook. I'm not into the low vibe, anything. John Fanning, there's his name again. Check out, since you're a fan of Lana, part one and two of her interview with Kevin Clapp, who is like a father figure to John Fanning. Okay, yes. Sh Char de, wait, S-H-A- R I oh Char Sherry D V. Yes, I actually saw a comment about uh th this is truth and transparency. She's awesome. I love her style. And she did a deep dive. So Kevin Clapp, I'll just give you a quick overview about this. It is super heavy. He was like a father figure to John. So remember when I was getting like, this is way bigger, this is huge. John Fanning, who is about to earn his very own nickname because his name and fingerprints are all over, like, well, the things that we're concerned about down here. So he, he's a monster. That's the only thing I can say. I have seen the first um, Truth and Transparency, Lana, Lana, I don't know how she, I don't think I've ever actually, I'm sure she's told us how she says her name. But anyway, Kevin Clapp, this is a, a long convoluted story in the sense that John Fanning, allegedly, and I also have the court documents that Lana had, I have them. And then I saw yesterday, or I saw it today, she's going through them. And I can confidently say one with 100% certainty, oh, I could pull them up. <gasps> Guys, this is like a whole new world. 
I could, but I'm not going to because I we're just on day one of this new thing. And <laughs> for fear of, I know I do love Sean. I do. And some, sometimes he's like, what am I doing over here? <laughs> and I was very gentle not to make fun of it because I don't want to be like that. No, speaking of. So what I want to do, I so with 100% certainty, I have the court documents. John Fanning was accused of essaying someone and he is a monster. That's like, I mean, go to truth and transparency, but thank you for the comment. Yes, you're a hundred percent right. I'll like it while I'm here. Oh, I should like the other one. Um, thank you guys. Okay, next one. Matt and Jen prob probably kept looking out the door to make sure, oh, this is, do you guys want me to say your names? I mean, we might as well. Aqua E23. Matt and Jen were probably, oh yeah, yeah, I said that super sarcastically. Matt and Jen were probably looking out the door to make sure Karen wasn't coming into the house to check and see what was taking John so long or why he wouldn't respond to her calls or texts. Just my opinion. <laughs> Everything's just our opinion. I did see comments like, oh, you quoted this wrong, you quoted that wrong. So now I'm just going back and I'm getting all the backup. And, but I do agree. I was watching a reader. I won't say it because it's none of the usuals that I always talk about, but I had just, the re, the only reason I knew it was wrong was because I had just watched Sean talk about it and then she was doing something, but it was wrong. So now I understand how annoying it is. So now whenever I see I did something wrong, I'm just gonna start back posting back up and if I'm wrong, then I'll own it. But that's where we are. Okay, Samantha Jane, seven, two, three, three, high five. Oh, this is for the math thing. Okay, thank you, thank you. Kendall Johnson, 1671, girl. <laughs> Thanks, boo. Okay, so <laughs> Elizabeth Shinen uh, Shinensky, 1345. So matter of fact, the guy, Matt, has no soul either. Oh, I can read these right over here. Oh, I have two screens. This is like, okay, except it's too small for me to read over there. Can you guys read it? Hopefully you can read it over here. I'm reading it on my thing. No, okay, this is from Bespoke USA. Oh, uh, this is, the, we act like we're in English lit, not Facebook. No, not, that's not what she said. Confused between leaving Waterfall and leaving Fairview. Common sense, Nicole Albert doesn't need to leave her own home after the party. Ha ha ha. So many details misunderstood here. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about, Bespoke USA, but I am sure I have backup for it. So if you could clarify that. And this is not how we like to behave. We're adults. Next. Oh, Bespoke. Oh, here she is. I'm talking about the text that you put up on your video that was saying that Sierra and Caitlin's testimony contradicted each other. It was about who left 34 Fairview. It made no sense. All right, I'll look at that. Thanks Bespoke USA for adulting. <laughs> okay. St okay, Stephen D. Silva, S-I Silva. And the cards told you, told you all of that, amazing. Yeah, I'm psychic. I use the cards because I'm also a medium and the cards keep me organized. If I explained it the way I see it, it's too much. So thank you, I appreciate that. Oh, look at all these, this is nice. Lulabelle 930, I think you're great. <laughs> me too, I, I like you too, I love you. Okay, good job girl. Oh, Lulabelle, thank you, love you. Okay. I think what I need to do, these are all the published comments. Let's find a spot that we just put all the questions. Okay, this is from Elizabeth Shinsky. Hi, Elizabeth, 1345. Okay. I love this. This is awesome. Fanning is involved, oh, a question. Fanning involved in Sandra Birchmart, it seems that poor girl was involved with the cops since she was 15, grooming her. 
I'm yes, 100%. And I do have backup for that. I've been collecting it all. It is absolutely appalling and horrific. When I, when I got divorced, we moved back to New England. I moved back to New England. My husband was from Texas and my mother was a teacher. She was just about to retire. And there was a girl, a woman, a young woman who had about three months left, but she was like only 17. There was something really weird. She had, a, she came from a home that was, um, it was not, you know, it was not a good home situation. And I think she must have only been 17, but she only had like three months left of school. And so she lived with us because my mom is an angel. And this girl lived with us and she was 17. And it was very clear, like at that time, there's a huge difference between 30 and 17, obviously. But when I saw the Sandra Birchmore thing, I was irate because it reminded me of this little girl who I loved. Like we had a graduation party for her. She was like very much a part of our family for those three months that she needed a place to stay or live. You know, it was a, a difficult home life. And my mom is just a great person. And that's what this reminded me of. Like she was so young and she was 17. So she was two. This girl, Sandra, actually started getting groomed at 13. And she also came from a troubled home, allegedly. And so they took, to me, took advantage of someone very vulnerable. It's disgusting. Um, so yes, John Fanning is 100% involved in Sandra Birchmore. I can't find, I couldn't find anything except our boy, Turtle Boy. We love him too. He had it. And so it was actually a written document. I don't know if they, or it was a blog post. I don't know if he wrote or made a video on it. I just saw that title and then started reading it, but it proved, it, it did make that connection for us. I just wanted to, I could feel Sandra, well, she showed pregnancy on her when we did that reading. Infuriating, absolutely infuriating. Okay. And, okay, so we're gonna get back to this. Yes, they groomed her, she was about 13. I have all the backup for it. But that, that's where Fanning comes. Okay, so I'm just gonna start this one over. Elizabeth Shinsky. Sorry, everyone, if I pronounce your names wrong. 1345. Yeah, Fanning involved in Sandra Birchmore, comma, or question mark. It seems that the girl was involved with the cops since she was 15. I'd say 13. When she's that little, little girl, I think she's only 13. Grooming her? Yeah. I'm not sure, but that's where Fanning comes in and helped with the cover up. Wasn't he one of the three under investigation and they said the claims were unfounded? Yes. If you watch that um, video, I did a video on Fanning specifically. And I didn't, I hadn't heard of him or anything yet. It was a comment and I kept getting Sandra Birchmore. There's something here, there's something here. After we got off the call, I don't even know where to look. I feel like I'm literally at um, USA Today, like in the studios. Which camera? I have three. <laughs> but I also have a screen. So anyway, you guys don't need to know the details. So Sandra Birchmore, so John, okay, this is what it ended up being. He got released from the IA very quickly. And I was thinking I would be concerned if I were him, knowing that the feds are here and the feds are building a huge case and they are going against everything. This is all unprecedented. And the good news is it's trickling down. I did clip, I haven't put it up yet, something about um, the FBI or someone. Some, why don't we just go after the CIA? Anyway, the point is that he was released and my concern was I would be, my, I, didn't, I wasn't concerned. I was saying he should be very concerned because his name is all over this stuff and we know the feds have everything. And so maybe I should, oh, oh, maybe I should investigate before I comment. It's okay. As long as you're nice and polite, it's no problem at all. It's when you're rude and you're acting like, 
rude. There's no reason for it. When you said walking away from what no longer serves him, something sounds familiar about that and about him. Hmm. Yes. If you go watch the John Fanning, I love this. This is fun. If you go watch the John Fanning video, oh my gosh, I really love, I'm going to have to figure out how I can read it up there instead of always looking down. It's too small over there. I'll figure it out. Okay. Thank you. Yes, that's where we are. FYI, Brian Albert told Matt to say, tell him the man never went. Oh, this is from Diana Hartnett944. Do you guys, I'm just going to skip reading them out loud unless you're rude or you get, donate. <laughs> the precedent is a little bit skewed right now, but um, in just in case, then we can get this going. All right. Brian, Al FYI, Brian Albert told Matt to say, tell him the guy never went in the house. Well, those words weren't Matt. And so I double checked it and posted a short. Yeah, they were. Hashtag buckle up, not today, Satan. Ooh. Yep. Love it. Love it. Love it. I don't like to say that word that I don't need. I don't want to sum it. Okay. If you think about, this is another wonderful comment. If you think about who hated, who hated John the most, contenders are... I am going to have to figure out how to blow you guys up so that I can read it over here. If you think about who the contenders are, Colin Bryan, Colin Bryan, due to John having the goods on those involved in the Birchwood case, and Jen McCabe, not really sure what her motive is. Psycho. In my opinion, I think she is 100. I don't know if she was popular in high school, but what she reminds me of is a mean girl that wasn't popular. And I mean, she doesn't remind me of someone that's ever been cool or nice or popular. She just reminds me of a mean girl. And you don't have time for that. Unless, I don't know. Okay, involved in, ab okay. Those involved had absolutely no regard for human life. The disrespect is rampant in the family circle. To be in a position of helping people yet so easily could literally watch life drain out of a fellow officer and go home and go to bed. This is pure evil. Karma is coming, folks. This is next level. This is next level. Okay. I think you are correct about everything except for the trial. I wish. I can't see any of them taking a chance with the trial. They will take all take a plea deal. I don't know. Yeah, here we go. Jen... I can see her pleading not guilty, so she'll be in trial, but I don't think any of these people, I don't know. They're, they're not, these are not the smartest people in the world. Well, they allegedly do have good attorneys, but she's delusional and has a very disoriented image of self. Yeah, she's a classic narcissist. I agree. Do you know if the four girls are living with them? I don't. I don't know how old they are. The reason I was saying in that reading, I'm guessing, is because we know Nicole Albert. Oh, there was something that I did say probably in Matt's. I said, I don't feel as bad for her as I do for Julie. I don't feel bad for Julie. It's Nicole Albert I feel bad for her, so I apologize. Oh, maybe I can make it flash up here. Okay. So th the thing is, as Nicole Albert was talking about how her children are in college, so I just assumed. And Caitlin Albert, oh, someone, I hope we get to this question. Someone wanted to know if Matt McCabe was Colin's dad. You know, there are no boundaries. And so if we get to that question, we're going to do it. This is similar to Daybell. Yeah, I watched that case. I remember the day that they, that uh, Nady went to Hawaii. I totally remember that. Do you know if their four girls are living with them? No, but I'm assuming they're older. Similar to Daybell, he ruined life as the children knew it and for everyone involved. Yeah, he's a scumbag. And then there were none, they were all done. Yes, this is a comment in regards to finding the truth and trans, or um, turtle boy comment. Woohoo, yeah, go girl. Okay, I love your readings. I've been following since day one. Okay, with Aiden. From blog one to blog 300 plus, I've been saying, why hasn't anyone flipped on the spouse if all of the parents go to jail? Who's caring for these kids? Then they just double down and triple down. Perjury, lying, harassment, you name it. 
I thought Lizzie Proctor would come forward. Nope, it's actually insane. Poor Matt. He drinks margaritas and martinis with ladies. <laughs> Good one. I agree. And then I remember seeing you as a regular Katie. LOL. I was Mike Ryder. I'll get it. <laughs> Mike Ryder. Oh, that's a good one. Since 2018. Hi, Mike Ryder. I love that. I love that. I used to love Knight Rider. Okay. Love this. The McCabe <laughs> McCrabs are going down hard. Yeah. Is it possible that the heart issues are because he is heart sick, that he is on, in the hot seat and his kids will be lost? Yeah, I think that his your body keeps the score and your body always tries to give you answers before it die. I mean, it, it's not meant to die. It's meant to survive. That's our, the only, the only emotion you're born with is fear. And that's so that you can die. I mean, so you don't die in a survival situation. Then his body, I kept getting heart and I saw a comment. Someone was getting stomach. I hope we get to it because she got someone else. I don't know if it was a man or a woman got stomach. Yeah, I'm getting this is all related to the stress. And if you're I know someone said they wanted to learn more about that. I would love to talk about it. We'll go into it. I felt his deep depression and darkness in his soul, but he is wearing a mask. Yeah, I agree. Why don't they just call for help? Because they're in way too deep. Well, they're in deep. And until Jackson and Yanetti, hold on read them their own texts. They didn't realize how much trouble they were in. And I think, I, well, according to Sean, oh, I'm so excited that I can share my screen. And now I can do sh clips of Sean right in here. Okay, good. Um, he said that they found out when Turtle Boy found Lucky and he said, did they ask you any questions about the investigation? And Lucky's like, no, but the FBI did. That's how, and then he broke, that's when he dropped an atomic bomb on the mass, trust, the mass state patrol. I must say the mass state patrol is not a stranger to corruption or problems. Um, I'll leave that. I don't have backup for it right now. Okay. If, is it possible? Yes. The heart issues. Yes. Got that. He should have divorced her a long time ago. Yeah. Don't forget Tully and UB2B. -UB, what's his name? Tully and um, something Brewski. I don't even know what his name is, but I should put Tully. And um, I know who you're talking about. Oh, Tully. Nope. He's not on the list. Okay. Tully and B. Okay. So here's a question. Woo. Got to a question. I will, oh, you know what I, you guys, I'm gonna ask this question, but hold on. What I can do is filter it to questions so we don't have to read through all of, I mean, I appreciate it and it's fun and thank you, but contains questions, here we go. All right. Oh man, I just missed that last question. I wanna go back and get that question so we can read on it. We're already 23 minutes in and I haven't even read anything. Oh, darn. Okay. Guys, look at that. Okay. I will, hopefully that'll come back up. All right. So I'd really like to blow this up. Mm, it doesn't work. Now it's not the time. Okay. So yeah, fanning and vol oh, oh, we went through that one. I love your readings. I've been following. Okay, we got that one. Is it possible? Okay, we got that one. How about don't be a dirty cop? Because there, there are good ones. Oh yeah, I know. I married a dirty, uh, good cop. He was wonderful. He's a judge now. Which is, I know it's random that he went from cop to judge, but he's he's wonderful. I love him. Okay, there are good ones. My father-in-law was the chief of the LAPD. Hopefully after, um, what's his name? When the OJ Simpson, well, I'm sure he's a good one because LAPD has their own issues that I found out. I was doing a private, something on the side and 
My husband's best friend is the chief of Riverside PD. Yeah, yeah, I married cops. I love them. That's why I think Sean is so funny. Not today, Satan. I love that. Um, I think that I think that's why Sean is so emotionally invested. And I agree. I mean, I'm not quite it. He's just next level. I love it. Okay, I want to know is Colin Albert's godmother. Isn't it Jill? D okay, who is Colin Albert's godfather, godmother? And someone says, oh, is he going to jail? This is for Kevin Albert. All right, cool. We have a question. I have no idea who Kevin Albert's godmother is, but I would like to show everyone in this reply, someone says, isn't it Auntie Bev? And I think the question or one of the answers was, I don't know why it's not showing here. And I don't in, see where it says eight, eight replies. One of them is, isn't Auntie Bev Caitlin's godmother? She's, in, she's, get your stuff ready, Auntie Beth. Okay, is he going to jail? So Kevin Albert, all right. I wanna clear this energy. Oh my. I have glitter on my head. I, um, my little niece started making, well, she paints everything all the time at my house. And um, so I'm making bags, like the grocery bags out of her paintings. They're adorable. So I can see the glitter on my hair. All right, is Kevin Albert going to jail? We should use Ashley. Oh, I can even pull up Ashley's thing. Ashley at the reckoning, her cards are wonderful. And she's so sweet. There was a spelling error. I honestly didn't even notice it. There is a deck though that I did notice it. It's not hers, but she sent all the cards with the spelling that over. So thanks, Ashley, I love you. And you look awesome. I loved seeing those pictures from the birthday party. Okay, is Kevin Albert going to jail? Why don't we start with, I was gonna do yes, no's, but I'm already shuffling Ashley's. <laughs> I just dropped a bunch of them. This is fun. <gasps> All right. I wanna do yes or no's and then I wanna ask other questions. This is really fun. I'm so excited. No wonder everyone can do this for eight hours at a time. It's so different. I love it. Okay, is Kevin Albert going to jail? I'm gonna say yes. And I don't even want, I don't feel like the cards. Yeah, he's screwed because he's super involved in the count Sandra Birchmore case too. I wanna light some sage. Okay. Is Kevin Albert going to jail? I think so. Mm, let me think. What do you think the cards are playing? Um, all right. I guess I should have stuck to my gut. I am. I'm gonna go back to Ashley's. Is Kevin going to jail? Yeah, he's screwed. I think that's my own personal opinion. No facts here. Please do your own research. Hidden network, Epstein. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> this is fun. Um, hidden network, Epstein, yep, follow the money. Always follow the money. Oh, for my wonderful, beautiful friends that were either on the investigation team for the Idaho case or have been following since the Idaho case. In one of Sean's clips, Faraday, Rafferty, what's her name? Rafferty, her dad, allegedly, for entertainment purposes, only no facts here. Get, please do your own research, everyone has Google. Um, her dad has connections 
to the who is it in Scotland that like bombs stuff? I don't remember the name, but he said that which then I was just wanted to say it out loud for our Idaho thing. Guys, something is really sketchy going on with Idaho case. There are three people that I know of, including myself, whose hard drives have been cleared of the information that we found. Now do you know why I didn't want to come out and just start announcing it? Hey, FBI, that wasn't very smart. We have... What are those things? USB, you think we're gonna leave it on? So if you're doing any investigation and you find anything that perhaps is not above board, especially attached to the Idaho case, mostly around Ethan, that's the one I can talk on. They cleared it from, there are three of us that I know of. Google drives. Hey, Russia. 1984. So if that gives you an idea of the stuff that we found, that's why I I have no interest in breaking news. This is not breaking news. I, I read tarot cards, but we did find some stuff and it's cleared. And these that's three di two different countries. And they aren't they weren't shared with each other. The three of us hadn't shared it. Sketch. Hi, FBI. It's probably not you. Just kidding. All right. Well, back to Kevin Albert. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's going to jail. He's involved. Oh, he's fearful that he's going to jail. Cybercrime. We went through this. We saw this in uh, when we figured out that Brian Albert had a home security system. Tell me. And then Sean confirmed that embezzlement oh yeah these guys are screwed they're <laughs> disposing of evidence yeah they're screwed they're screwed they're screwed and this uh they run it like a cult the, the not care and read people they're all classy and normal adults the not care and read people are unhinged and they are crazy if your cult leader is on the stand for murder you probably should find a new cult come on yeah, Kevin's going to jail and he's screwed and he's fearful and he knows it. But the thing is, is the FBI has everything. And we know that someone, probably Google themselves, has cleared information off of three separate drives that aren't connected. We weren't sharing the files with each other. That's concerning, you think? Well, and I even, we even have people outside the country, you know, there's lots of countries outside of ours thinking that perhaps not everyone has the same issues as 1984. No. So, all right, I'm going to, okay. So we got one question done, but we have new gear. I'm going to pause you, stop you guys in the bleachers and there because it takes forever to upload. We're at 33 minutes there. And then we're going to talk about the, Mustang, so, or I'm sorry, the Ford Edge. Like the Ford Edge, those are, I am not saying anything mean about that, but what I'm saying about, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. If you are new, welcome. I don't know which camera to look at. I love you, thank you for coming. Day one of the new setup. Yes, oh! We really can do lives and we really can get live questions. Oh, I can do readings. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love it. Okay, awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming. I love you. I don't know what to turn off. <laughs>